my beautiful Sagittarius, and this is going to be your reading for the remainder of February. Spirit wants you to know you are exactly where you are meant to be. Um, this is this is going to be a huge time for you. I'm talking about powerful. You're being you're being rewarded. So I almost want to say, and when I was meditating on your sign, be careful of what you ask for because you you might literally just get it. <laughs> so if you if you pray for power. And some of you, y'all ready for this? Because you know I'm going to lay it out real clean. I'm just going to lay it out on the table and be honest. Some of you, for some reason, you, you could have been, you could have either been um, reading a book called like, damn, I pray that they don't, uh, pee power. I'll just say that because baby, YouTube ain't going to come for me. You could have been reading a book about pee power or you could have been praying to have pee power where <laughs> like the art of seduction where you can allure men to you and be more captivating and you wanted to elevate and you could have been saying this to yourself you could have been walking around and i am powerful and i am magical you you can either been acting it out as if you already had these gifts or you could have baby you could have caught these gifts in yourself so you are coming into a, a cornucopia of blessings number one but power if you ask for power it's like spirit spirit trust you enough to give you the power but baby with power comes responsibility so you need to be careful with this power because just make sure that you use it for good because it can also be the downfall of you if you don't use this power in the right way or have pure intentions for what you've called in. A medicine, some of you, you are healers yourselves, literally. Like you, you are healers, you do Reiki or you could be, for some of you, a witch in training, you know, and you wanted to harness gifts of manifestation. You want to be really big when it comes to practicing certain um, gifts that are like from your ancestors and you got it you gonna get it <laughs> either you got it you are in preparation I see you about to step into the light so this means if you have been in a period of um, isolation I'm sorry I see my I see my aura I see it. Y'all see it? Like the light all around me? For some reason, I just... But anyway, see the ADD be... <laughs> ADD. I mean, <laughs> but anyway, um, if if you... It, it's going to work for you and it's going to work really fast. But once again, with power, it um, it's it's a responsibility. And even like the power to discern. Some of you guys were were felt tricked. You felt deceived by messages. Like your spirit guides could have, you know, created energy for you where you felt like you were lured to certain people because you felt that these people you can trust. But as soon as you started to get to know these people, you realized that like, wait a minute, spirit, this 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 ain't this ain't really it. So <laughs> it's it's almost like if you prayed for more discernment, you want to know exactly. You don't want to be misled. You don't want to uh, have another false, false soulmate or false twin flame. You feel like this has been consuming you and this has been weighing you down. And you could even be in a place as a Sagittarius, especially if you're in solitude that is practicing lots of meditation, but spiritual protection. It's gotten to the point with you where you feel like paranoid about people and you want to be protected at all times. So you can, that's another thing too with you going into wanting to uh, trace back to your ancestors and start to use practices that they use because you want to feel more protected. You want to feel more safe and you want to produce more so you're gonna get it that's the biggest thing you're you're going to get it 
and um like the floodgates of heaven is opening up to you like i don't know why but the word the floor is yours <laughs> i don't know what you asked for you know like with the floor the floor is yours why do i feel here i go with my feelings right feelings nothing more than feelings but i don't care why do i feel like um this this i feel like everything that you've been through led you to this moment though at the same time i feel like you went through a hari store story yes your past was chucky freddy cougar and jason all together was awful and <laughs> but and that's not funny y'all follow me with my humor my humor is a little weird and that's okay you know what I mean like i'm gonna I'm a embrace the weirdness in me i think whatever and um the the point is i feel like you felt led astray by your spirit guides you felt deceived you felt deceived by spirit i'm that's the truth you felt very deceived by them things that you prayed for and it came like like a wolf in sheep's clothing like hold up i asked for a blessing not another lesson babe you caliente no caliente means be quiet right i'm gonna learn some spanish one day but it's just like it's enough <laughs> Enough is what you would say to spirit. Like, I pray. Wait a minute. This is you looking at your manifestation. Let me, let me, <laughs> let me paint a picture of you. Wait a minute. Good in the bed. Okay. Check. Has a good job. Check. Is spiritual like me. Check. Is honest. But they lie. <laughs> Not attached to no exes. But they 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 still attached to their ex. <laughs> Giving and and consistent, but they was consistent in the beginning, but what happened? They cheat. <laughs> My manifestation this ain't it return it back to sender Ugh, that wasn't it it's <laughs> not what i prayed for what do i gotta do spirit that's somebody that's one of y'all you yes it is i know i just seen it i just seen it i seen it you can't tell me that <laughs> you fed up you had enough Send it back. This is not what I asked for. Return to sender. Um, let me tell you something. So you, you, <laughs> you, everything that you've been through has led you to this moment. So where you have walked through a door that is beautiful. I hear private life. You're going to, you're going to become more private. If you're a, a woman, you're going to become way more feminine. You're going to become more grounded. And you're gonna you're gonna notice your own inner voice. So which means that even with spirit, if you even ask for your intuition to be heightened, you're gonna notice that um, you even become aware of your own limiting beliefs. You're gonna start to hear your own thoughts, baby. Let me tell you something. When you awaken to your own thoughts and hear your own judgment. And inner critics and all kinds of shit. You be like, what? <laughs> I don't feel that way about myself. What are you doing to me, mind? So you are going to start to release limiting, limiting thoughts because spirit is now giving you the power that you asked for. You asked for it. True. You got it. Take your time, young man. Don't don't rush to get old. You trying to rush your life. What is the overall energy that I really feel? Um, some of you changing your diet. Some of you wearing a waist trainer. If you needed a babysitter, you're finally going to get that babysitter. If you needed like a grant funding... 
for like after school or for a babysitter, you're going to get it. If you needed to find another job, you're going to get it. And if you wanted your equal, this is this is when your equal meets you. But let me tell you something. You let me Baby, if I had tea, I would I would pick it up and sip it real quick. Let me tell you something. You're you're very you're very powerful and you you are stepping into a very powerful place. So what's your equal? Two powerful people coming together. You will butt heads sometimes and challenge each other. So be prepared for that. If you ask for your equal, be prepared for someone who has a personality larger than life like yours. And I feel like when two powerful people come together, it's just important of, of knowing who needs to submit and just take in while the other person leads and vice versa. Because why do I feel like two people of power? But, you know... As as a Sagittarius, you're gonna you're gonna need to learn how to submit. I don't know why so I want to come back to that because wh whoever you're gonna meet, you want an alpha male. You want this person to change your life and change your outlook on life. You want them to show up in a way that um, you want to keep your sense of independence, which is very important. I'm I'm one of them. I'm one of them. My independence is very important, but but also understanding that compromise is needed, and I feel like. You need to be careful because why am I, what am I, what is happening? <laughs> when I do these readings and stuff, because I'm like, what is going, where is this taking me? But you know, you know what I love about, about something is unfolding right now in my intuition as I speak to you. And I'm so excited to know that it will make sense when I get through these cards. But let me keep going from my intuition. I, I love to use my intuition first. Um. You're going to need, let me tell you something, Sagittarius, feminines, divine feminine, Sagittarius. This, you know, <laughs> calling all Sagittarius, divine feminines, calling all Sagittarius, divine feminines. You will need to learn when to submit because you, what do I want to tell you? You, you, you want to be the king and the queen and that's okay, but. Truth be told, if you're saying that you want to be in a, a divine connection, you're going to have to trust this person to lead you. You're going to have to trust their, you're going to have to trust their leadership. But let me, let me also say this to you. And this is so important. So important. What is it? Important. You need to, you need to find out who, who are these, who is this man being led by? <laughs> find out if you truly are looking for like a counterpart right? If you consider yourself like a, a kingdom woman, or if you consider yourself a woman of the cosmos, of the spirit, of the highest, and you get, you know, you're in tune in this world, and and you, you know, the truth is, it's true. If you're on a spiritual journey, you, you are led by spirit, you know? Like, even me being here in front of you and these messages, where do you think I get these messages from? You think I just be, I be listening to my videos after, because what did I just say? <laughs> you know this knowledge comes from up above and it's it's granted to me you understand so i can deliver it to people and and i say that to say when you're in a divine union you need to make sure like wh whoever or your husband who is leading you who's leading your husband is the most empowering question you can ever ask a man like who leads you because if they're not led by spirit, then who 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 then who's leading them? They friend in them? They boy? They boy is leading them? Their boy that have that have a, a their boy who be cheating on his on his girl and I'm done. Just make sure that when you are going into these connections and you truly want you're redefining yourself. This is what it is. You guys are redefining yourself and you're collecting pieces of yourself. I see you collecting pieces of yourself. So you're you're putting back together your story, but you're going to remake your story over according to your vision, not your mama's vision, not your daddy's vision, not the vision your dad had for you, not the vision your mom had for you, not the vision your ex had for you. It's like this is you and your dreams. You're finally mapping out your own life and spirit don't have nobody around you for a reason because you have no influence but you. 
Your influence is going to come from you. These messages are going to come from your spirit and your soul that is guiding you and leading you here to like manifest this beautiful life. You're going to be drinking more water. You're going to be nourishing your skin. You're going to be feeling, you're alchemizing everything that you've went through. So when I say like you're going back and you are picking, you're snatching your heart back out of places, places where people thought that they done had you finished. You're getting, give, no, you didn't give me back. Give me this back. Give me, you picking soul retrieval. That's what it is. You're going back and you are picking yourself up. And you are alchemizing it. This is where your power is coming from. Your power is coming from you reclaiming victory over all the stories, over all the naysayers, over all the people who try to put magic on you, do all kinds of weird shit. They, they, it didn't work. Because you, you've called in your spiritual team. You called in your spiritual team in order to help you grab yourself out of dark, places grab yourself out of poverty and it's it's going what I, what I, what I'm trying to tell you <laughs> love wins get to it I'm getting there you asked for this and it's happening for you right now it's happening right this second blessings falling in your lap you, you being around the house walking and needing a solution and the solution is just falling to your lap. It's happening. So let me see. Lots of opportunities coming to you. Once again, let me go back to you single Saggies. You need to, like the power of discernment is going to be over your life and you're going to have many people that are going to try to buy for your attention. Many people who are going to try to disguise themselves. Here we go. I knew, it, baby, bring me home, spirit. Sorry. Many people who are going to try to di disguise themselves as, you know, alpha women or alpha men. Many people who are going to try to dress up and look the part, but there won't be None about but one or two that will actually be the right fit. And once again, you have to make sure you you can ask people the who leads you is the best question. Because if, if if you ask a man who leads you and he goes, huh? <clears throat> Run. Who leads you? Because if you won't lead me, who won't lead you? And how you gonna lead us? Who do you who do you call on? Who do you get wisdom from? Who do you who's your go-to person? You're going to need to know that they're going to be coming for you, baby. Like I said, if you've been reading what the power, power of P, the... <laughs> they coming for you. Yes, you have exes that wishes they never, ever did you the way that they did you. Yes, you're right. They do. They see your glow up. They see you. Yes, you will also end this fight of people trying to come and claim themselves on your level in your life yes it will be some exes who will try to come back and say i'm different now prove it prove your case innocent because you're guilty prove it sorry oh. make up how 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 are you different <laughs> you look the same <laughs> still got on the same shoes how are you different you gonna have people trying to say that they 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 want the they are fighting to get a seat next to you because you you are in power. You asked for this Sagittarius, you gonna get it. You gotta make the right choices. You gotta discern. Yeah, you got people waiting on you. People that you walked away from. People who got money and want to spoil you rotten. Look at this. Look how many kings this came out. You got you got one that's that's desperate. They're desperate to be with you. You have people you have kings or queens lined up because they want to be married to you. That's it. Boom. But it ain't it's more than one. And they all will not be able. I hear dress for the part. The biggest thing that spirit wants me to tell you, your diet has changed too. Your diet and men or your diet and women has changed because there was people in the past who were feeding 
off of your energy. And this is the thing. You need matching energy. So you will know if you made your match again. Well, I feel like I'm getting you ready for this season. <sighs> Let's go. Let's just do this. Let's do this. <laughs> you got to be strong in this season, Sagittarius. They come in for you. Sorry. They come in for you. You got to be strong. You got to, baby, you better... Um, you better meditate. You better pray so that the weaker spirits can just see you and just be ran off because of your light is so bright. You, they just run. They terrify. But there's going to be some kings who want to measure up to you. And um, I hear your wallet got a little bit fatter. You're going to get more money. Be careful of being greedy. Like greed taking over. You get more money, you earn it. Spirit says be grateful for the money that you get. Don't don't turn into like greed where you want more and more and more. Be grateful for the blessings that do come in. I feel like I'm getting you ready for this next season. I'm getting you ready so that you won't go through the same thing again. This is what spirit, they trying to stop it. <laughs> Stay on the road. We have a game plan Sagittarius, you you got a you got a game plan for this season. They coming for you. They coming for you, and you got a game plan. And I'm gonna get you through this. We are gonna do this together. Now, when Stevie come back and tell you <laughs> that he wants you back and he different, ask Stevie how. What have you done? that makes you different. This, this, what does Stevie say? Um, um, ooh, you're taking too long. I don't think I can trust it. Actions speak louder than words. In this season, you would need these kings to show up as kings and kings make moves, baby. Woo! Kings do not sit on the sideline, they make moves. If they really wanna be with you, they would really pursue you. They would not have you guessing. You are the prize. You are the prize. Kings invest in what they want. If they're not making an investment, then they are they're off the table. Bye. Oop, you took too long. You should. Robert wants another chance. He says he's different. Prove it. Do not leave your throne. You are the prize. Don't come down with the throne. Oh, shoot. So, yeah. You, you've awoken. You're so powerful to the point where you... You've awoken people's hearts. You've awoken their feelings. And you, you're making a few people lose control. They don't want to lose you. Some people will, will be, especially somebody who made you feel rejected, they're going to be coming back. Once again, you, you different? How do I know? You got to play your cards right in this season. Ooh. Yeah. Lots of communication. Lots of people expressing themselves to you. Fair. Fairness is going to come to you. Somebody hurts you so bad and you can't even believe that they even have the nerve or the audacity to call you and try to get back into your pants, into your life. There's, there's going to be someone that you feel like, you, you got to be kidding me. So this is what I'm trying to say. Spirit says you're going to be starving your distractions. And hitting, hitting your goals. Yeah. Be careful of people trying to um, see this, these mind games. People trying to, like the, the salesman, trying to tell you what they can provide a life for you. And yeah, I got it together. I work at this job now. And they don't even have a job or a reliable job. Somebody could be subbing and trying to front like they have a corporation. <laughs> I mean, I want to do this today. <laughs> I'm not doing this today. You hear me? They substitute in and they trying to say they have a whole business in a corporation. Sagittarius, be careful. 
of people trying to play games to try to get you back. It's like the power of discernment. You better pray. You better pray. There's lots of drama. People fighting over you in this season. People are going to be competing for you. May the best man win is what I say. What's leaving your life? You you see the light. You you've had everything. You went through the lessons. You you know. You know. You've been holding back from people. Somebody that you were having into, you know, they were intimate with, but they were taking too long to commit. Taking, they weren't being loyal. They were taking way too long to commit. And they've been spying on you. You know what I'm trying to say? And once again, like I said, whoever this person is, they're going to try to come back. It's like they want what you have, your light, your love, but they don't really have much to give back. Or they give you some and then they take it away. So this is what's leaving your life. Like false starts. Emotionally unavailable. Cheap for some reason. All right? Um, is... is What's coming into your life? Yeah. Life partners, destiny partners, people who can walk. Somebody you'll be proud of. Somebody who won't hide secrets from you. Things are just consistent and flows and they ask about your well-being. They ask about you. They want to know how you're doing. How can I help you? This is, this is what you need to pay attention to. Who is trying to get help from you and who wants to actually add to you? Spirit wants you to use like, man... Listen, you got the power now. You're going to have exes and new people trying to like fight for you, fight for your heart. But you have to know who is a destined life partner. All right. You have power, but you're going to have to use it good and pray for discernment on the season. You are walking into the light. You are the best choice and option that people see. It's like now as you awaken to yourself, people are starting to awaken to you as you wake up like, wait a minute. You mean to tell me I've been it all this time? Are people missing you because they they with people and they don't know how to satisfy them sexually? That's the thing they didn't realize. Like you're even like I said, the P power. You got P power. They got some some people with some some. Baby, the well done went dry. Baby, the well it, it don't work like yours, and they starting to miss you because they want something quality, mm, not just flashy on the outside. They want quality. They want value. They could have left you something that was low grade and now they want quality they want value and they see quality and value damn you had it all along they won't try to come back for it people fishing for information on you it's to the point where even the same gender is going to be wanting you the same gender you a woman women is going to be wanting you some of you may be into women but some of you may not be you may just be into men but you're going to see even women like try to oh my you won't have women even trying to seduce you in this season, Sagittarius, if you're a woman. It's that, like, baby, you you want power, you got it. <laughs> you you want it, you got it. All right. I'm going, I'm going, ooh, I'm going on to the extended to see the main, the main person that's going to be in your life, as well as spiritual messages so i'm doing a full spread full spread on the person that you will be with for this month and um i hear running your license plate be careful be careful of like you might have to fight a ticket or go to like uh to court be careful running your plates or getting pulled over be careful of speeding all right but let me let me i'm going on to the extent i'm doing a full spread on the person that you are going to be with the most and then spiritual message. I send you so much love and light, Sagittarius.